Welcome Arithmetic Ninjas to question number 31. And this one is dividing a quarter by a whole number two. So a fraction divided by a whole number. Now, the easiest way of doing this is to demonstrate this with using a, a diagram. They're not all as easy with a diagram because some of the fractions will be more difficult. But a quarter is certainly an easy diagram to show. And so is dividing by two. So let's say we've got a chocolate bar. Now this chocolate bar is split into quarters because we're dealing with quarters in the question. So we've got one, two, three, four pieces. And we'll just write quarter on each piece. Four quarters make a whole chocolate bar. Now basically, if we divide each of those quarters by two, so this quarter divided by two, 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 if you divide the quarters by two, you've then got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Therefore, each new piece, once a quarter has been divided by two, is actually one out of eight pieces. One eighth. So this piece here that I've shaded is one eighth. This becomes one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth. So your final answer, quarter divided by two, is one eighth. However, there's another method that will always work as well. And the other method is called the keep, change, flip method. There are videos on YouTube that if you type in dividing fractions, keep, change, flip, you can watch the video. Some people have even made songs about this. Keep, change, flip. Some people even call it KFC, linking to the famous chicken shop which obviously is slightly the wrong way around because it's KCF. But nevertheless, this is how it works. So with the keep change flip method, you basically put any whole numbers with an, a one underneath. So this two needs to have a one underneath. You're not really changing the value of that because two is the same as two divided by one. That two over one means two divided by one. And two divided by one is still worth two. 2 divided by 1 is still worth 2, so it's worth the same thing. So you put any whole numbers over a 1, and then you follow keep, change, flip. So you keep the first fraction as a quarter, you change the divide for a time, so the divide becomes a times, and you flip the second fraction upside down. So 2 over 1 becomes 1 over 2. And that's because dividing by 2 over 1 actually has the same answer as timesing by 1 half. Now you might say, well, how do we times by 1 half? Well, we've talked about timesing fractions before, and multiplying fractions is much easier than dividing fractions. Multiplying fractions, you can just do top times top, bottom times bottom. That same method is on a number of other videos on this channel where you need to mul multiply fractions. So you're basically changing the question from a divide into a times. But, and you can just swap the divide into a times as long as you flip the second fraction upside down. Dividing by two over one is the same as times by one over two. So we'll now go top times top. So one times one is one, and bottom times bottom, four times two is eight. So as you can see, we've still got the same answer of one eighth. Whichever way you do it's fine as long as you understand what you're doing.